One of my fondest memories as a kid were those long road trips I would go on with my dad. Sometimes we would camp, other times I would wake up early to drive 3 plus hours to watch my dad race in amateur outdoor dirt bike races. But every drive was the same. My dad loves live country music from the 60s and 70s. That's what he grew up with, and that's what we would listen to every time. When I was young, I loved every bit of it, but of course, as I got older, I would claim that I never liked the music. I started playing the guitar at 8 years old, and it took me a pretty long time to get comfortable with the instrument. It wasn't until high school when I started listening to the psychedelic bands of the 60s and 70s, The Doors, Jimi Hendrix, Black Sabbath, etc., that I started getting comfortable with my instrument. It felt like I had opened up a whole new world for myself that personally helped me expand my knowledge with the guitar, and I wouldn't have ever expected the influence that had yet to reach me when I would start listening to The Grateful Dead. I remember one particular night when I was in high school, and the reason why I remember this night is because it changed the course of my life. I don't think I would be here today doing what I'm doing now if it wasn't for this night. My friend and I were hanging out late by the community neighborhood pool. One of his neighbors comes up to us to see what's going on, to say hi and chat with us for a little bit. Eventually we were talking so long that my buddy had fallen asleep at the table. But it was during that conversation when I had learned about the Grateful Dead. He told me about the early days, mid-1960s, and some of the shows that they played during that time. The audience and every band member would pay one dollar in exchange for one small cup of Kool-Aid laced with LSD. Everyone was there for the drug, and that gave the dead the opportunity to play freeform rock and roll without the pressure to satisfy the audience. They had established their formula to their signature sound and their live shows for the rest of their career improvising and exploration within their music. I really do believe that everything happens for a reason. As for myself, something as small as a brief encounter with an older deadhead that educated all that I needed to know, to growing up with the father I had. Those two things specifically got me to where I am today. The Grateful Dead influences my music that I play and it's the reason why I'm going to film school. If it weren't for my dad's live country music, I would have never had the same desire for live music as I do now, and The Dead satisfies my need for live music more than any other band I've ever listened to.